staying on the topic of transportation, mm. let's let's go down to Toontown. Mm. With the, uh, some some of some of the people in the audience might not remember the Jolly Trolley. It, it's it's been gone that long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you're like I don't know in, in like tw- twenty five, you know, early twenties, you probably don't even remember it. But Toontown used to have a trolley, and it would kind of sway back and forth and go down. It was actually really cool. It was very short lived, but uh, we Dave from Fresh Baked again. He had a video on this about how the tr- the Jolly Trolley, believe it or not is sitting backstage, refurbed, ready to go, waiting to be put back on stage. Dre, I know you watched that same video. What are your thoughts I on did. that? I did. I did. Uh, I would like to see the sourcing on this one. <laughs> this is this kind of caught me by surprise. I'm like, the Jolly Trolley. Again, they can't refurbish the trams, but we can refurbish the trolley? This is this is quite interesting. i gotta got to delve into this more. Look, you know, I think we had a conversation about Mickey's Toontown and the future of it and stuff like that. And my thing was, hey, take the Jolly, you know, Jolly Trolley tracks out and, uh, you know, create like medians, planters and so forth to kind of, you know, because uh, it's kind of barren uh, between the buildings. Right. Kind of increase the foliage and horticulture in the area. Um, but, you know, Dave from Fresh Bakes is reporting that they're going the uh, actually opposite way and bring the Jolly Trolley back. And honestly, if you're not going to get rid of the, if, 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 if they're not getting rid of the tracks, it, it, you know, it, maybe it is possible that these, that these, uh, that this Jolly Trolley comes back. Uh, I believe you said it on uh, Twitter when we were, we were having this discussion uh, before the show that uh, they would have to get rid of the swaying feature. I would agree yeah. with that. Uh, I don't. I don't think that that that's a feature that that's coming back. That that's a operational problems, obviously. And but but look, we do have a trolley in Buena Vista Street. Well, at least we did. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that that was a successful implementation, right? It did work, right. even with as many guests as that entrance uh, sees on a regular basis. Uh, so can something work in in Mickey's Toontown? I think it actually could. Yeah, interesting. What do, what do you think, George? The Jolly Trolley coming back. I would hope it would come back because I actually never got to physically experience it for myself because I was a late bloomer with Disneyland. But <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely seen a lot of photos and a lot of videos, you know, of the Jolly Trolley and I have always wanted to experience it. So I think it would actually, I think it would actually benefit Toontown because now that they're actually considering on still keeping the land after we find out about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I think it would be a nice little kind of update. To, to the land itself, you know, to kind of refresh it and, you know, bring it, bring it new. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. I would, I would love to have the kinetic energy back. I mean, it'd be great. I, I hope, I hope what, what the rumors are, what Dave is reporting is true because I think it would be a great addition to the land. Um, now, Dre, you do have the fresh baked video on deck, right? I do. I do. I do plan it right now. Plan it right now. There you go. Uh, All right. Or does what I see in the park agree with the things that I'm hearing, and this is one of those situations. All right, with that said, let's talk about our final rumor today, and that is the Jolly Trolley. Now, it's interesting because I I would imagine that there's probably uh, at least a small segment of our guests, a small percentage who may not even know what the Jolly Trolley is, or or if they did know what it is or was, uh, that they didn't know that it actually ran. It was an attraction that would, you know, run through the land, through Toontown. That is until a tragic accident occurred and force them to to close it. Now, I, I'm not going to get into that story, but I will say that one thing I do know for sure is that the actual physical trolley is coming back. Right now, it's just a station with no train. Uh, it was it was being used last as a, as a DVC sales kiosk. I remember that. Before that, the trolley was there, but it was permanently parked, and it was basically it was just used as a photo op or for a place for people to sit down. But I can confirm that the trolley has been going under an extensive refurb, new paint, etc., and it looks great. It's just sitting backstage waiting for its opportunity to go back on stage. The only question is, did that refurb include making it operational? Would Disney make it operational? The tracks are still there, of course, and all it would take is just a little bit of planning, a little bit of effort to make it safe again for everybody. And it would be lovely, I have to say, to be able to see the Jolly Trolley running again in Toontown. It would go a long way towards making me feel like I want to go to Toontown again. Back at- <laughs> yeah, and and, so. and and shout out to Dave. He he does great work. You guys should definitely check him out and subscribe if you aren't already. Um, he does amazing work. Um, 
really good guy and uh, I'm a big fan of his content. But the thing here that's interesting, actually, that, that when he was talking, I kind of was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing, one thing into the in this equation that we haven't really discussed is because of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, this area is getting an infusion of cash. Oh, yeah. So like we talked about, like, well, why don't they fix the trams and focus on that instead of the trolley, which I agree with you, that should be a priority. But maybe that's the reason why this is getting done first is because of they have that budget, that cash flow from the e-ticket. And some of that is maybe putting being put towards like kind of, you know, uh, beautifying the area. Is that possible? Oh, yeah, I think that is very possible. Um, we're seeing a lot of work on the the kind of entrance tunnel uh, for Mickey's Toontown right now. Um, yeah, at first, it, you know, we thought, oh, okay, it's going to be a paving project, and it is. But then the whole planter beside Small World leading to uh, Mickey's Toontown has completely been wiped out. <laughs> and it's a pile of dirt right now, which is uh, quite interesting. So that in itself is a little bit more extensive than we may have originally realized. Also, too, the gates that used to close off Toontown at night uh, for the fireworks have been completely removed. Um, they're, they're no, they're not even hinges by which to put place, uh, gates on. So it's like, okay, well, is this going to be open at night now? Is that why, you know, so the, we are seeing a lot of changes. We are seeing a lot of, uh, operational changes to this area, a lot of, uh, you know, placemaking and so forth. Um, look, if you're not going to get rid of the tracks, Hey, you know, the, the, the jolly trolley potentially returning. I mean, you know, maybe I, I, I don't know, but I think you're right though. I think they are diverting. They might be diverting funds towards areas of the park that that are in most need and and have the have the most potential, while also you know taking things that might not be operationally uh, necessary, you know, abs absolutely necessary to run the park uh, away from them. So I, I think that's what we're seeing. Yeah, and you know it's it's crazy. This is how, and I think I I, I mentioned this to you today, uh, Dre. Like I can't predict Disney anymore. <laughs> like I used to be able to kind of get a good idea or good sense of like, okay, this is what's going to happen or get ballpark. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know what the heck is going like two years ago. I would have told you this land would have been gone. It would have been bulldozed and would have been star Wars. Sure. sure yeah. Right. And now we're yeah. talking about the Dolly trolley coming back. <laughs> like what universe do we live in? <laughs> I, I, it's a very strange one. That's for sure. I think ever since JPEG kind of took the reins, and especially with with everything you know going on with the pandy and stuff like that, I mean, it has changed their philosophy. They you know they they are dip they are they are prioritizing different things than they would have in the past, and that's why I think all of us have kind of been off our game in terms of our predictions because it's like wow, I would have not seen them going this way. It's very interesting to see what prioritization that they're they're placing on some things that maybe historically they 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 haven't, and what prioritization they're placing on other things that historically you know, they, they might have. So it's, it's, it's very, very interesting and fascinating. Yeah. George, any final thoughts on the Toontown trolleys or Toontown in general? Yeah, I think after the fact that they made the big announcement that Toontown was going to get Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, because I was right with you, OG, I thought like they had the bulldozers ready, the, the yeah. cranes and everything, that thing was going to come done. So, I mean, the fact that they're putting a brand new attraction, and it's very popular, at Hollywood Studios, so I could imagine what it'll do for Disneyland Park, and they need some activity, some pulse in that back part of the park, because, I mean, it's it'll definitely bring Toontown back to life again, and I think if they were to add the trolley back to it, whether it's fully operational or just, you know, have it there, I think they may kind of want to spruce up the land a little bit to kind of fit in with the, the new attraction. <laughs>